lot of people will start carrying a gun and complain that it's not comfortable, but a lot of times that's a function of the belt. A good belt will be better than a bad belt. I'll go figure. What you're really looking for in a gun belt is a stiffness. This one is kind of worn out. This is pretty floppy and it's going to be uncomfortable and you're going to have to adjust your belt in your gun all the time, right Murray? Absolutely, and you're going to feel that it's pulling down on that one spot in your pants like if you just had it on your pants and not on a belt versus it all the weight being around your belt like a, a true gun belt will. So Crossbreed has a full line of belts and, and lots of different colors and flavors. Absolutely. So uh, these are our executive belts. Um, we offer our executive belts in black and brown. We have uh, several different buckle options. That's the gloss. This is the mat. Um, they can be worn with a suit. They can be worn with pants. They can be worn however you want. Yeah. This is a true gun belt at its core, but it's meant to be a little dressier so that you're not looking like you're carrying just a gun belt. It doesn't scream I'm carrying a gun. Yes, it is not tactical looking at all. Now, but the other one you have, which I really like, is this is a, a kind of infinitely adjustable belt. What do you call this one? This is the crossover. So the crossover marries um, a nylon style military Boy Scout belt into a true leather gun belt. Um, it gives you the very dressy look with the clean straight lines. Gives you the option to not wear that spot in your belt out. Everybody has their old belts where you have that one crease right. in your belt that's wearing out. Sure. That will not do that. Well, and, and that's what we're talking about is you can adjust it kind of wherever you want it to be and so depending on what you're wearing what you're carrying um, depending on how much food you had that night yeah, absolutely. you can you yeah. can and it's gonna be comfortable <laughs> and tight enough correct and you can adjust it all day long depending on what you're doing how you're moving um, so you get it the right right tension that you want it a good belt is really important for carrying let's take it to the range and show them what we're talking about absolutely You know, Murray, one of the things about having a good belt is that your gun is always where you left it. It doesn't shift or cant or sag, right? Absolutely. You want your concealed carry piece to be the exact position that you put it in when you put it on. So what does that mean also for safety? Uh, safety wise, you know that it's not going to be flopping around. You know if you get knocked down or if you have to lay down that your gun's going to still be where it was when you put it on and you're not going to be fumbling around with it. And you're also not going to be doing this shifting right, stuff. You're not going to be the tell, I've got to adjust my pants. Yep. <laughs> the I've got a gun shift. Yeah. Well, why don't you shoot this? It's fun. All right. All right, nice. So if you're going to carry every day, you got to have a good belt. That's your foundation. Check out Crossbreed's line of gun belts.